Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video for today. I wanted to review the new City Skylines Financial District DLC. Let's get started. So first and foremost, um, the Financial District DLC does cost $7.99 US dollars. In front of you is the meat and potatoes of this DLC. It is the fully level five stock exchange. Now, before we get into that, because I know all of you are here, you're here obviously for the stock market, but what else do you get with the stock market? So if you do create a district and you do use the financial office buildings district itself, what you'll get is over 72 different assets. Now these asset buildings do get larger, but these are the basic level one office buildings that they, you know, basically that they first generate. I think these buildings overall look okay. I think that they're good buildings, overall buildings. Now, as we get through some of these other buildings, you're gonna notice that there is a plaza. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but an underground garden plaza. Then we do have a bunch of different skyscrapers. Now, if I were to give you an honest opinion, I really like these skyscrapers. I think they are really good buildings. But my issue is, like, what is this? Like, can somebody tell me, like, what in the world is this one by one tall skyscraper? Is that is that a real one? I, I, I don't know. Is there brick at the bottom of wood? I, I don't know. So some of these smaller skyscrapers, I don't quite understand where their head was at but it does provide you some really good depth. So I think overall the 72 assets are really good to have in your city. And obviously they'll go perfectly with the city skylines skyscraper DLC. Now at the bottom of the screen, I'm just scrolling through all of the assets that come with the DLC. You're looking at pretty much all 72 of them. I'm just trying to quickly scroll through them. I, I didn't want to show you all 72. 72 is a lot. Like that building, you know, as you're scrolling, you might be like, oh, that building looks cool. And you just plop it down. But overall, the 72 assets, they look nice. I just don't quite understand the smaller single skyscrapers. I, I don't understand it. So now the next thing I do want to get into is some of these parks. We already clicked on this underground park. Uh, well, underground garden plaza, excuse me. I, I think it looks nice. I think it's fair. And then there is the elevated plaza. I think they do a great job. City Skylines always in their DLCs always provide some cool different plazas or parks that you can build in your city. So overall, good, not great good but remember our dlc is 7.99 us dollars on the steam workshop so that does make difference so for 7.99 i think it is a really good buy so far so the second major addition to this financial districts dlc you could see on the map is right in front of you they are banks you could see our small city bank that's the title of it and what these banks do well charlie just drove through the hedges but on the bank itself is the small bank is it reduces commercial zone crime rate using cash transport vans that safely deliver money and you can see that we're collecting over a little over a million dollars now my issue with this addition to the new city skylines financial district dlc is that we have three of them we have a small one we have a large one and we have a skyscraper one obviously they're collecting money but we don't see any of that 1.792 million dollars like we don't see it so i don't quite understand the point of these banks they make absolutely no sense in the comment section below what do you think? What do they do? Like, what do these actually do? Now, as we get over, we're gonna scroll over to the large skyscrapers. They obviously look fantastic. I like the basic looks of these buildings, the skyscraper bank, it looks awesome, but I just don't understand them. What do they do? If I plop them downtown, they cost me almost a thousand dollars a week. What do they do? So when reviewing this is, what good does this bank do? Like, I get you're collecting money, 
and you can see shortly, I will click on it and then you can see that, okay, this is where it's collecting money and all the green means high, but what does that mean? I don't feel like I'm earning or getting any of that money. So I'm gonna say, give this an iffy. I'd give that a five out of 10 if I were to give any sort of rating. Now we're on the meat and potatoes. You see, I have a level five stock exchange. You can see that we have a 6% tax bonus. What is a tax bonus? Well, everything in green, you get a 6% addition to your taxes. So all City Skylines people, we know to put our taxes at 12 and 13%. Well, if you do that and add an additional 6%, we're at a solid 18% taxes. So all the high density people are getting paid eight paid. They're getting tax 18%, which is in real life, that is absolutely insane. So now that we know what the bonus is about, how, what do I like buying stocks in this game? And the question for the answer is sort of, sort of. And the reason behind that is, okay, I have everything unlocked. I have 12 different options of buying stocks. And you can see some of them are high. I bought out completely death care services and I made $24,000 just by selling it. But why do I not love this stock exchange? It's because now when you're in the real world, you're buying stocks and you probably want to buy them low. And you could see on the screen, you could fluctuate how many stocks of each company or business you want to own. But my problem is, is if you just buy low on all of them, and then eventually they'll hit a gain. Like right there, our crypto or chirper crypto. So, you know, we have some FDX and we have some, we have some Dogecoin over here, but you could see like, you know, see it's at negative 36,000. But if we wait it out, eventually it'll just go back up so like i know we're waiting and this is real time by the way i did not speed this up so we're already at three thousand so if you really wanted to make a three thousand dollar profit you hit the pause button and just sell it in this way the pause button makes sure that hey i want it at this price and it guarantees you that the stock won't fluctuate so like in you know if you try to sell it at three thousand it won't move to negative while you're trying to sell it so if like I mentioned before, you want to try to buy these stocks as low as possible and then just wait till they skyrocket. Now, I know that's basic stock market talk, but the problem with this is this is a cheap way to make, cheap and quick way of making money. Now, I know it costs a lot of money to buy these stocks, but when you have almost $10 million in the bank, you can make these investments in the stocks and make a quick million dollars. Like when I... Sp when I started this whole City Skylines video, I was at about $8 million. And by the end of it, I made a quick $2 million in a matter of 15 minutes. So I will give the stock market a solid seven out of 10 for a good idea. Now, overall guys, what do you guys think in the comment section below? My personal opinion is that yes, you should buy this DLC, but don't expect an Airport City Skylines DLC. And just lower your expectations, I think. Remember, this DLC is $7.99 US dollars. Your normal DLC averages about 14 to 15 US dollars. So remember to manage your expectations. This was this DLC was not supposed to blow your socks off. You know, you could see the buildings and you could see I'm just trying to change <laughs> some of the um, lighting on some of these buildings. But, you know, just manage your expectations because this is not a full on DLC. I get it's a DLC, but it's $7.99. So manage your expectations on what to expect for this DLC. I think you still should buy it. I still think it is interesting, but just manage your overall expectations. So in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of this DLC. I think it's worth buying. Thank you.